Welcome to Stix Picks for the Interactive Classroom. I'm Andy Stix, and today we're going to be talking about using a strategy so that students can view events from multiple perspectives. This strategy is called the lobbyist hearing. And whenever you have an issue that goes before a congressional panel, the teacher can literally take that specific issue and bring to bear four or six different perspectives. We're going to take an example that's easy for everybody to relate to today, which is whether or not we should celebrate Columbus Day. So in this case, you would have the Columbus group perspective, and you may even have the Sons of Italy. That would be a second group that would be for Columbus Day. Two examples that would be against Columbus Day may be Native people or Native Americans, as well as the Vikings, who felt that they were able to land here in North America way before Columbus. So what happens is, is that the uh, teacher divides the class into as many perspectives plus an extra perspective group. So the case that I just gave you had four perspectives and we would need one for the congressional panel itself. So that would be five perspectives. The congressional panel would do research in a general way where everybody else would be doing their research specifically, looking for journals, paintings, anything that was written from that time period that they could bring to bear. On the day of the lobbyist hearing, each group has to prepare a card, an index card, making as the salient point that they want to make. And that group gets together and they order themselves in some types of sequential order. And the first person is going to introduce the group and the last person is going to say thank you. So at the time of the hearing, one group gets up. The first person, as I said, introduces them. Each person in a line states their salient point, And it's concluded with the last person. And then the congressional panel gets to ask them questions. After that, then it moves to the second group. The process is repeated then with the third and the fourth group. At the end, the congressional panel excuses themselves from the classroom. They walk out into the hall. They discuss what they feel they heard and what was important to them, and they cast a decision. Now, it's important for this panel to have an odd number of students, so in case there's a, a split, that there is always a winner. Afterwards, they come in and they announce their decision to the classroom and they state the reasons why they made that decision. For more specific information, feel free to look at other strategies from this book called Social Studies Strategies for Active Learners, published by Teacher Creative Materials. Feel free to look at my blog which is andysticks.com and please feel comfortable contacting me for professional development. Have a great day.